what's up and welcome and today i will be going to beautiful porchetton and also adventure world in silet i will also be taking you to one of my favorite restaurants and in this video i'll be sharing with you my complete journey so sit back and enjoy So the day is nice and hot and what I'm about to do next happens every day in Bangladesh. What am I talking about? Good old CNG fair bargaining. Three days later. I know what you're thinking. Damn, this guy is good at bargaining. Well, I've been in Bangladesh for four months and got the hang of it. The roads are busy as usual and why won't it be? Car, truck, CNG, motorcycle, Guru, Sagol, Manush, everything in one road. But all that chaos and traffic clears up as soon as you enter Airport Road of Silet, which is where Porjaton and Adventure World is based. For the people who don't know, that's tea plants. And you're probably thinking, damn, that's a lot of tea. But if only you knew how us Bangladeshi people drink tea. To make you understand, all of this tea will probably be finished in half an hour and I don't mean finished by the whole of Bangladesh or Silet, I mean finished by just one single family. Eventually... finally here and I have actually been to this place several times in the past but what was about to happen next I can for surely say has never happened before I heard there's a lot of monkeys in Porjaton but in the past I never really saw them I also assumed monkeys to be really friendly but boy was I wrong Yep, I'm going to leave this crazy monkey to it and here's the uncut version to show you how I really behaved when the monkey tried to attack me. So, after a lot of running to get away from the crazy monkeys, what do I come across? More monkeys. Now these monkeys are violent and really fast and they need someone who knows a thing or two about bananas and someone who can also move as fast as them. I think you know who I'm talking about. Cost to enter Porjaton was 50 taka per person and I've been here so many times but I didn't actually realize Porjaton is actually a hotel and I guess they charge people to come and see the natural environment surrounding it. Don't worry, you don't have to enter through the tiger's mouth, there's actually a small side entrance. Porjaton is full of monkeys and I don't mean the monkeys that you saw earlier on. I mean these couples who hang around by every tree that you can see behaving like monkeys. 
It's really sad as in the past this place was known for having a really good family environment. But now every direction you look at there's couples doing things that I won't mention. Let's just say sharam lo jauti kaise duniya tha ki. I can't really read what that says but I'm assuming it says don't walk past this point. But I thought I'll go down to get away from the monkeys and when I say the monkeys I mean the couples and record some scenery. And guess what? There was couples even in this jungle. I was so confused and I thought to myself, "Well, man hai bhai kab bol man hai?" At this point I had enough and decided to walk to Adventure World which is behind Porjot on itself. I have to say walking to Adventure World was an easy but eventually I got there. Cost to enter Adventure World was only 30 taka per person. Now I know I said a lot of negative things about Porjoton but Adventure World was completely the opposite as I had a really good time as you are about to see. And yes there was a few monkey couples around but these were well behaved monkeys. This place always has really romantic Bangladeshi songs. I guess it's maybe for the couples. Anyway, Adventure World surprisingly had many different rides you could go on. I really wanted to go on this, but not after last time as me and my wife were stuck on the boat for about 20 minutes as there was something wrong with it. Anyway, pricing for the rides were very fair, but there was really strange looking statues everywhere. I mean, just check this one out. It looks like half man, half woman and half fish. There was a lot of shops where you could eat, but the prices were higher than normal. And don't worry, that's not a real con. It's for playing games. So, I've been walking around for a while, and I've decided I'm going to go on this ride. don't know how safe is going to be but i'm going to go for it cost was 30 taka per person now i'm really brave so this type of ride is nothing for me i don't like it that was a me by the way If you do come here make sure you go on this ride as they take you around twice and the view is really really nice. A few minutes later. So time for ride number 2 and to be honest I didn't really want to go on this as it looked quite childish and if I knew what was about to happen in a few minutes I would 100% not went on. In all fairness, it really was fun, yeah. but I'm lucky my camera didn't get damaged, and this was my state after the boat ride. So that's the end of my trip to Adventure World, and now time to go and get some food. Just got to Ambor Khana, and every time I come to Ambor Khana, I think to myself. Ambor Khana really is crazy. Anyway, the place I'm going to eat at is one of my favorite restaurants in Silet, and I've been going to this place for the past 10 years. Here it is. Name: Stickerum. I think I showed off enough with my camera zoom quality, so let's go in. <laughs> As you can see the menu is big and they had literally everything you could think of but I decided to go for my favorite grilled chicken If you are ever in Ambor Khana you have to come to this restaurant and try their grilled chicken it really is nice and if you do decide to come and order their grilled chicken make sure to tell them to give you one that's not burnt as they do seem to overcook their chicken 
I really am sorry for showing you this but I have to show you close up of my food. I know I'm gonna get a lot of deet after showing you this but I'm gonna upload this video a few days later so hopefully your deet won't affect me. And by the way for the English speaking viewers deet means black eye. I also ordered a few rotis and it's Bangladesh so with every order you're gonna get fresh onions, lemons and chilies. Now the grilled chicken normally comes with the orange coloured sauce which I really don't like as it's very sweet. So if you do come make sure to order this sauce, it's called Shorisar Del sauce I believe. As you can see I like a lot of lemon on my food and now you can watch me eat for a few seconds. 10 seconds later really nice meal as usual and I ordered two half grilled chicken around five rotis and two cups of tea and the bill came to 390 taka so the pricing is pretty fair too and no I didn't eat all that by myself anyway I'm gonna enjoy my cup of tea now so until next time take care